So what we are, what we are getting here, you see, uh, they are vertically opposite angles, right? They are also equal. Talk to me. Okay. Automatically, you see, we are also getting that this angle and this angle are equal. If two angles of a triangle are respectively equal, then automatically the remaining angles will be equal. Okay. Actually, you are getting two triangles. What are the triangles? Write down. In triangle ABL and triangle CDL, CDL, we have got two triangles. That's good, not a matter. You see, given angle ABL is equal to uh, angle LDC, LDC, given. Okay. Again, we see angle ALB is equal to angle DLC. Actually, they are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay. So, remaining angle, therefore, the remaining angle. LAB, LAB is equal to the remaining angle, the remaining angle LCD. I have marked the angles with different colors, okay, LCD. So, so what is happening here? The triangles are equiangular that they told you that if the three angles of two triangles are respectively equal, then the triangles are said to be equiangular. So we can write down, therefore, triangles are equiangular. I also mentioned that if two triangles are equiangular, they are so similar and so they are similar. You have to write it everywhere. Similar. And if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are proportional. How to write the corresponding sides or so-called, uh, I mean, your matching sides. It is a very good rule, perhaps uh, I showed you once. Just you omit this midpoint, then we are getting what? Talk to me. We are getting, you see, AL, its matching side is CL. Okay? Suppose if it is omitted, we are getting here AB. You see, we can write down AB by you omit the point L, the midpoint, it is CD, is equal to, you omit this point, BL, you omit this point, DL, sorry, DL. I have just uh, omitted the midpoint to find out the matching size, okay? Side note can be given here, the massing size are proportional. The massing sides are proportional. Okay. Are you getting me? Yes, in the, sir. The proof we have to uh, see what is the proof? BD equals to 5BL. BD and BL. 
2D equals to 5BL. Okay, very good. So we don't have any functioning on this part. It is not required anymore. That is, we can write down AB by CD is equal to BL by DL. Now, in the book, a relation between AB and CD is given. What I have told, the relation between AB and CD are given. And the relation is CD equals to 4AB. That means we can write here AB by 4AB. CD equals to 4AB is given, is equal to BL by DL. That means 1 by 4 is equal to BL by DL. Okay. But you see, BL by DL in the proof we have only BL and only BD, BL and BD. So by hook or by crook, we have to get uh, BL and BD. So what is to do you see this, this interesting fact and after this part, every students, I mean mistakes. That is, we have to get inverted. The operation is inverted. Four by one is equal to DL by BL. We have to get BL for this, it is to be in the denominator. Now, you know, below four, we have one. We can write it like this for, or as to understand, four plus one by one is equal to DL plus BL by BL. It is known as component. Okay. So we are getting here, 4 plus 1 equals to 5 is equal to DL plus BL. DL plus BL is equal to BD by BL. And from here, we can easily write down that yes, BD is equal to 5BL proof. Important math, which has been done now. Now, if you have any question to discuss, you can. <coughs> Are you getting me? Everybody? That's good. Okay. Now I am going to prove theorem number 35. That is really very, very important for you, for your time. Can you read the question number 35, theorem number 35? Theorem number 35, important theorem. Okay. The ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of squares on any two matching sides. Okay. Read the theorem at first. Let's uh, prove what is given here. You see, suppose two triangles are given. It is like this. It is A, it is B, it is C. A triangle is given and another triangle is given like this. You see, uh, I can take it D, E, F. There are two triangles, okay? And it is also given that they are similar triangles. Okay, that's good. Write down. Uh, let let triangle ABC and triangle DEF be two similar 
similar triangles. Now let me know what is meant by similar triangles. That is, what is meant by similar triangle? Let me know. That is, they are equiangular. For this, they are similar. So they are equiangular means angle A equals to angle D. They are equiangular. Angle B is equal to angle E. Angle C equals to angle F. And similar means what? AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to AC by DF. Similar means their corresponding sides are proportional. Okay. It is required to prove that it is required to prove that prove that that you write down triangle ABC is to triangle DEF is equal to BC square is to EF square. Okay, please try to understand. What I wanted to tell you, if in the question it is told, then you keep these two in the base. Have you seen? BC is the base here, here EF is the base. If it is told here AB and DE, then AB would be considered as the base. DE would be considered as the base, okay? What will be wanted will be considered as the base. But uh, please, uh, I mean, pay attention here. Now construction, you see. Construction, very easy and simple. We'll just draw perpendicular AM. We'll draw perpendicular DM. We draw AM perpendicular to BC and I'm sorry. We draw AM perpendicular to BC and DN perpendicular to EF. We have drawn two perpendiculars, okay? Is it okay to all? Talk to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Now we are going to prove it. You see. Proof. In triangle ABM and triangle DEN, you see all of you and pay attention. I have considered two triangles. I think all of you are getting these two triangles. These two triangles we are going to consider. Okay. You see here in these two triangles, angle B is equal to what? Angle D. Can you go to your, I mean, uh, particular transition that they are it is written angle B and angle Sir, D. Are it is when? Sir, last class. Day. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Or us not? Oh, no, sir. Sir, it is not a coronavirus. Right, you are now. Okay, so angle B and angle E are equal. You go, you see the particular transition there, it was written that angle B and angle E are equal. Okay, is it? Okay, now you see angle AMB, angle AMB is equal to, it is given, it is given or by hypothesis, angle AMB is equal to angle DNE. Why? They are equal to one right angle. This equal to 90 degree. I mean on right angles, okay? So the remaining angle, as I told you, the 
remaining angle, what is the remaining angle here? MAB is equal to the remaining angle EDN. That means we are getting here also three angles being equal. So we can write down, therefore, the triangles are equiangular and so they are so they are similar. Okay. Triangles are equiangular and so they are similar. So their corresponding sides will be proportional. What is meant by this? If I write AB here AB is corresponding side is DE. If I write BC, then its corresponding side is, I'm sorry, not BC, BM. Extremely sorry, BM, then its corresponding side is EN. Then if I write AM, its corresponding side is DN. You have to write down the statement, the corresponding or matching sides are proportional. Okay. Now we see that. We can write down here, that is, AB by DE is equal to AM by DN. And this is equation one. Okay, have you copied it? Yes, sir. Now, step number two, you see triangle ABC by triangle DEF is equal to what? Triangle ABC means area of the triangle ABC is half, half into base into height. Here also, half into base into height, right? half into base into height. Now you see here we are getting half up omitted. That means we can write down BC by EF dot AM by DN. Can you go to the particular annunciation? Okay, before that you write down what is the value of AM by DN? AM by DN equals to what? AB by D, you see. AM by DN, AM by DN equals to what? AB by D, you write down. BC by EF into AB by DE from one. Now, can you go to the particular annotation? What was written for AB by D? Talk to me. For AB by DE, it was written, you see, BC by EF. Actually, we need it given. Okay? Actually, we need BC and BC, BC square. We need in the proof. It is a value in the particular annotation. Okay? So, we can write down BC square by E F square. Okay. That means we are getting here, therefore, triangle ABC is to triangle D E F is equal to BC square is to 
all math is done. Is it okay now? Suppose if it is told to prove AB square by D square, not a matter. You write down here, BC by EF, AB by D, here it is AB by D. You can write it. You can change it from here to get the proof. Would I show it how to do? The math is done. Suppose it is given in the question, you have to prove that AB by D or AB square D square. So you have to write here like this, it is AB by D, we are done, but if it is given, you write down AB by D into AB by D. Have you got me? Because you see that in the particular enunciation, it is given BC by EF is equal to AB by D. <coughs> and you see we are getting here AB square by D A square. So we can do it, okay? Or if the question is given like this, suppose BC, sorry, AC and DF, BC by EF equals to AC by DF. You can see the particular transition. Again, AB by D also is given AC by DF. So it is written AC square by DF square. So any of the proof is given in the question, we can do. And in uh, an extra, it was given. After this, we can write down, suppose, suppose triangle ABC is to triangle DEF is equal to, we can write down BC square is to EF square is equal to AB square is to DE square also is equal to AC square is to DF square. You can also write down, okay? 